Welcome to the Slow Wine Guide 2021. I'm here with Denise Adams to talk about her beautiful property, Adamus, on Howe Mountain. Welcome, Denise. Thank you. It's a wonderful, it's a pleasure to be here. Such a delight to learn about this beautiful biodynamic estate that sits at 2,000 feet on Howe Mountain. So can you tell us a little bit about the history of the property, you know, when, it, when the oldest vines might have been put in the ground there? Sure. When my husband Stephen and I discovered the property uh, in 2008, one of the attractions uh, was that there had been staglin vines planted there about 30 years ago. And as we all know, you know, old vines bring a certain complexity to wine. And after some time of getting to know the vineyard and working with Philippe Melka, uh, we removed a number of plots that were planted perhaps more for production than quality, and uh, began uh, putting in uh, uh, vineyards after identifying the most prized locations on, on this particular property. So you've optimized this beautiful site. When did you begin the journey to biodynamic? You told me in our previous discussion that the estate had been farmed organically for decades. Um, but but you brought biodynamic into the picture. We did. Uh, I had been uh, farming biodynamically in France for quite a few years. And so immediately uh, when we stepped foot on the ground, in fact, the first plant I planted uh, before we removed some of the plots on this site uh, was uh, lavender uh, because the next thing coming were honeybees. Uh, so that, uh, that was an immediate uh, farm requirement in my mind uh, to, to go to biodynamic practices. And you've had some help and guidance along the way. Talk, talk, tell us a little bit about that. Your journey with biodynamic uh, viticulture began in France at Chateau Fontagod. But you brought the, you brought what you've learned there, your your best practices and your in practice to this beautiful estate in, on Howe Mountain. Yes, so uh, I I would say Jean Michel Combes at Ponte Canet is I, I often call him my my hero. Uh, in France, I would call him and go to the property and ask if I could follow him around in the vineyard and learn as much as I. I could about biodynamics. So uh, his wife, Corinne Combs, is a biodynamic consultant. And uh, I brought her to the States to have her look at the property and begin working with us there. It's a different climate, different soils. And so I couldn't just automatically take all of the concepts from Chateau Fontlegade to Adamus. Uh, and so that was a huge help. And then uh, we hired uh, Mike Wolf right away. And shortly after that, a few years later, uh, he uh, brought on Caleb Mosley uh, to, to his team. And as we all know, Caleb uh, is just a genius in biodynamics and I've learned so much from Caleb. And it's very interesting to see Caleb and Corinne walk the vineyard together. Uh, and learn from each other and learn from you know, different continents, uh, different ways of, of, of viewing biodynamics. This wonderful cross-pollination of practices. Um, and we talk about it globally as well too, how we, look, we can look to um, you know, viticultural practices in other, other wine growing regions and apply them to what we do here. That's a really exciting concept, and it's happening right there at Atomus, which is which is truly, truly exciting for us. So you're you're biodynamically certified, and that is that is a thing of great beauty. So being charged with being a steward of that property, what could we expect in the future? Are you going to put any more any more acres under vine, or going to um, have any big plans for for expanding the estate? <laughs> Well, no more acres under vine. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we have identified uh, the best uh, parcels on that property. There are a lot of trees and wooded areas. Uh, and so for us, they, th those plots have been identified. 
our goal in the future is not is just to continue to perfect uh, what we're doing. We love the fact that we have uh, a, a 2,000 case production vineyard. Uh, we don't aspire really to, to, to make more wine. We aspire to make better wine. But the next thing on my agenda is cows. So we are preparing right now. We have sheep on the property that mm -hmm. the vineyards. We have raising honeybees. Uh, we have a donkey. We have chickens, loads of chickens. Uh, but the cow is sort of the iconic uh, figure in biodynamics and I my my dream right now is to have a couple of cows on property to use the female lactating manure for our, our cow horn preparation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, so we are preparing a spot as we speak and looking into all you know that entails with fencing and making sure there's uh, enough food for them to eat, et cetera. So uh, that's what's new and exciting in the world of biodynamics for us. Uh, coming up in the next few, in the next hopefully year. Uh, we, in the next year, okay. That's that's truly exciting. So can we expect butter and cheese? <laughs> Adamus butter and cheese? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough for becoming part of the Slow Wine Guide. We're so happy that you're here with us and we look forward to tasting the wines and to keeping a close eye on the progress that's being made at Adamus. Thanks very much, Denise. My pleasure.